Hello guys, Survivor here, welcome back to another episode, well, welcome to episode 9 of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Last episode, we just made it to this, these underground dungeons, went to some flashbacks, had, had, a, had, had to deal with home, homeboy a few, a few, a few times, then again, uh, then again, I actually got fucked up by him, uh, caught one, in one of those times. Then, uh, then, then we went to, 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 to the safe house haven thing, and we actually uh, got enough, you know, uh, oil, you know, for a good while, a glass jar. I guess it's like our thing, just because of the glass uh, container thing. Uh, we, uh, excuse me, how how we uh, used for that explosive thing. So it's kind of like a, oh yeah, uh, here's that if you want to do more of this, and. Yeah, we got some tinder boxes, some health, yeah. Other than that, guys, I'm kind of terrified on what the hell we're going to be going through. I really have no idea what the hell we're going to be doing. So let's hope to God. Pray the laws. Praise the law. Where the fuck? I about... I have no idea why, but I about said the infamous N-word. You know? I about said it. I I, I, I about said it, guys. Shit. Because this, this, this game is unpredictable to an extent. We gotta deal with homeboy running around all these catacombs and shit. Excellent condition. How are we supposed to upgrade our shit? Where the hell is he? Cause I know he busted this, busted down. One thing though, guys, y'all probably wonder on the back, like where the hell's uh, the door over there? Cause it's, it's supposed to be, you know, there. But actually, homeboy. I actually had to start off back in that in that in that tunnel. For some reason, I didn't save, and it, it, it didn't save once I got to that little safe house place. So I had to start over from there. Uh, this time, I actually hid, got the got got the got the, got the yeah got the oil, and I think the health thing. I, I don't know, man. I really do not know. Uh, it's been a while since I actually played last episode, and. Just, yeah, he literally busted that bitch down. Let's keep it lit. Keep it litty. Litty, litty. Fucking bitch, man. I am. Oh. I'm about I'm to get bitch made up in here. Bruh. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna hide in any of these places I can't. Oh my god! You okay, buddy? I mean, with that much blood on the wall, I, 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 I doubt it yet, man. He's fucking dead. <laughs> Damn, I'm using so much oil at this point. I, I, I need to conserve. I gotta use these fucking tinder boxes too. Oh fuck! Hey, anybody help? Oh, Yo, what the fuck happened, man? What's going on? Just in case. Oh shit. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. 
Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Shit. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, Seems like I got here just in time. Yeah, something's going on, man. I guess we got away. Bruh, get the fuck back in here. Homeboy, you leave me alone for once. Fuck is he? Did he go? Fuck that noise, boy. I don't even know where I'm going. It's a fucking maze down here. Oh, this is where I came from. Shit. Don't budge. Fuck. Yeah, this won't budge. Like, can I knock it? Hold up. No. No. Fuck. Anyway. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Fourth of August, oh. oh shit. The nightmares woke me in the early morning. And for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its power, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. Oh, I damn. asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Oh my god, what the fuck? No! Don't you come in here! At a time like this, no! You fucking kitty! He's coming in! Don't look! Don't fucking look! Please just leave.
God. This is heart wrenching, man. I can't move. Did he leave? I think he did, but I'm not sure. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, just keep walking, fucker. Jesus, man. There he goes, off to the darkest, deepest parts of the dungeon. God. How do you deal with that shit? Oh, some sort of acid. Damn. Ow. Wait a minute, hold up. Oh. So that's why I need it. Thank you, come on, come on. Shit, man. So this is why I was needed in here. Because this is part of the progress. I swear to man, this guy is all over the damn place. I'm gonna fucking book it if I, if I ever see his face. Like you can barely see anything down here. It is called Amnesia the Dark Descent for a reason, but... I ain't dealing with some bull. I ain't dealing with bullshit. I need to light up at least like some parts of the area so I'll know where I'm going. Probably. But I need to use my tinder boxes carefully. At the same time. I'm fucking terrified. See this one's blocked up. See what I mean, guys? Like, it's hard. Yeah, I was down here. So where do I go? Maybe I use the. Maybe, maybe I use the acid to melt down the locks. Is that? Is that? Is that? Is that oh, it's in very poor condition. Oh, needs to be weakened further. Yes. That's why we need it. That's why we need it. Oh shit. Oh. This bitch knew where I was going. This bitch. Whoa, what the fuck? So you think it was the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we weren't leaving it long today. The flow is seasonal. And when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. There's a lever. I actually want to look around before we, before we fool with anything because. What the fuck happened? I caught shit like this. I actually want to look around real quick before we fold anything because it might lead to an actual event. But, I don't know. No budge. No shit. Of course. It wouldn't, make, it wouldn't have us go very far. The lever is stuck. Its gears need to be greased? Its gears. Where the hell's the gears then? Up there maybe? We're going to have to go back and get, get some acid. This is going to be a long while. 
Oh, shit. Water is too deep to tra traverse safely. Oh, God. Do we need to go back with Homeboy? Head to the sewer first must be drained. No shit, man. But, wait a minute. Isn't that why... I mean, isn't this the reason, though? Lever's is stuck. His gears need to be greased. Oh my God! We really have to. We will. We really have to go back. Wait, it won't budge. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I am so stuck. I am super stuck right now. Okay, so apparently I, I just realized on what to do. I just realized that once you touch the e, a vessel is needed. Okay. I, uh, for some reason, I have I had no idea. I really didn't. Uh, maybe you need to use the oil on this. Yes, bitch, yes! Oh, sh oh, what the fuck? It's blocking the ladder. However, it got somehow damaged by the impact. Oh shit! Does that mean? Oh, we're making progress, people! Oh shit! All right, all right. Yes! Let's go! I was so... I was like, why? Why the fuck did they lock us in here? You know, like I was very surprised. Control room. He waited for his eyes to adjust to the darkness, but no shape or contour appeared. Who the fuck is that? Things that we that, that that are just not planned, you know. Oh shit! What the hell? This is the control room. A heavy gate. Obviously, to make progress. Yo, what the fuck is all this? I mean, I'm guessing that where we need to go, which is obviously in the where the where the where the water is, is obviously needed to drain the water. I'm, I'm thinking, but the problem is, is how the hell to do that? So I'm just I'm just kind of wondering, you know. Okay, is that wait, what happens if I raise them all up? I really want to see what happens. Nothing? Like I'm really curious guys, I really am. Wow, for real? Oh shit. How much you wanna bet that homeboys are gonna come in like surprise bitch? Like There's steam. Uh Really trying to find stuff. Oh, chest. Oh, nothing in the chest. I'm trying to look for stuff. Yo, what the fuck, man? What is all this? Wait, all these pipes. Say what? Yo. 
Yo, guys. Machine, 13th, January 1799. The work I have put into the machine is uncoiled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since, first, since I first attended the reconstructed design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build a thing almost 100 times larger than a delicate contraption to try to emulate. Not to mention the flow of cane lightning crudely replaced by pressure steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shakes me to think of what the inventor would have thought of, thought of my monster, where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts. I push five men to erect a tower of, <laughs> of wrought iron the hope it will have even tiniest hints of the found in the traveler's locket. Wait, why was that traveler's locket? That that has to be important somehow. I'm just gonna call that shit, boy. All right. Uh, what about the other room? Let me check. This is the same exact room, though. Hold up. Ah, wooden crank. We're gonna need this bad boy right here. We're gonna need this crank. We're gonna because we're gonna crank up, crank some shit up in the next episode, guys. Uh, I hope you did. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I mean, we did make some pretty good progress. And homeboy almost fucked us up a couple times. Almost found us and kind of fucked fucked us up. But yeah, um, but yeah. Uh, like the video if y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe y'all see more. Comment below what y'all think. If any of y'all new to the channel, y'all see more. Be sure to subscribe for more. And get up, guys. Did load load low key. Someone enjoyed this. I'll see y'all in episode 10. Survivor out.